Hi Bulldogs, welcome to Monday Math. You just watched a read aloud book with Miss Treadway where she read a book to you called What Time Is It, Mr. Crocodile? And so today you're gonna notice that our lesson is on time. So we're gonna learn how to read an analog clock and a digital clock. Now a digital clock, or as an example, is like a clock like on a watch that has the time when the numbers. This is an analog clock. Now an analog clock is a little bit different. The first thing you're gonna notice is it's got all of the numbers going around in a circle. We start at number one and we go all the way to number 12. Then you're also gonna notice there are two hands on a clock. There's the short hand, which is the hour hand. That tells us what hour we're in of the day. And then there's a long hand, that's the minute hand. And the minute hand tells us how many minutes of the hour that we've had. So the really cool thing about an analog clock is I'm gonna show you, as the minute hand is going around, it's counting how many minutes we've had in an hour. And so if I turn the minute hand around, you can see the hour hand is also slowly moving because we're completing an entire hour of time. So today, we're gonna learn how to tell time to the hour. Then next week we'll learn a different skill with time and we'll learn how to tell it to the half hour. And so right now, if you look at our clock, one important thing for you to always remember when you're reading an analog clock is you wanna read the short hour hand first. So we're gonna look for the short hand and the number that it's pointing to. Right now it's pointing to the two. So we're gonna say two. Then the blue hand today is always gonna be pointing to the 12 because we're gonna be telling time to the hour. And so when the blue hand is pointing to the 12, we say o'clock because we're talking about the top of the hour. So right now when I read this clock, it says two o'clock, okay? So I'm gonna spin the hour hand, or the minute hand, I'm sorry. I'm gonna spin the minute hand. We're gonna go around the next hour. Now we're going to read the minute hour hand first. It's pointing to the three. So we're going to say three o'clock. Very good. So on your assignment, let me show you what you're going to do. You're going to have a picture of a clock and then you're going to have to choose the time. So I wanted to write some times down to show you what it's going to look like. So I'm going to spin this around a couple times just so we're not going in order. Let's talk about this one because this one's pretty important. So if we're reading the hour hand first, the short hour hand is pointing at the six. So we're gonna say six o'clock. So if we were to write six o'clock, we're gonna write the six first. And then we have to separate the hour and the minutes. So we separate the hour and the minutes by our two dots. And then we say o'clock as zero, zero because it's pointing directly at the 12 and we have not had any minutes left in that hour. So six o'clock. Let's try another one. So I'm gonna spin it around a couple more times. Let's try this one. I want you to try to read it without me first before I tell you what it is. Remember to read the red hour hand first. So let's try it. It's pointing to the 10, 10, and then the blue hand is pointing all the way at the 12, so we're gonna say 10 o'clock. Perfect. Now I'm gonna try to write 10 o'clock. So remember, we wanna write the hour first, so I'm gonna write 10, I want to separate the hour and the minutes. O'clock, 10 o'clock, perfect. So on your assignment, you're going to have some slides that are going to have some clocks. So you need to read the clock and then you're going to choose what time is correct and drag that time into the box to label it. I hope you have fun reading clocks. See you later, Bulldogs.